there's currently a panoramic painting installation at the Guildhall Cafe. The artist behind the exhibition, dubbed HMS Daedalus, says she was inspired by her relocation to Hampshire and its unique environments. And Kim Whitby is joining me now in the studio to tell me all about it. Welcome, Kim. Thank you for coming in. Well, I actually think we've got some pictures of that installation that's there now. So let's okay. take a quick look at those. So there we are. What's that then? Uh, well, it's a massive painting um, of all massive the, uh, the uh, fence line around HMS Daedalus, which is in Leon Solent, uh, okay. which is a very striking geographical environment for me because it's incredibly flat. Uh, and I've moved from very hilly West Wales. So uh, uh, it's also intriguingly um, historic and I like historic and unique settings. So what made you move to Hampshire then in the first place? Uh, my husband's a serviceman, so he has a, uh, had a job and uh, that you brought mean. us down here. Yeah. And so why then did Hampshire inspire you so much to make these paintings? Well, I like places and um, the airfield itself is very different and interesting because it's so flat and also it's an airfield and when you've moved from somewhere where there's no airfield, it, that in itself is interesting. Uh, and following on from that, then I got to work on board HMS Victory and draw and paint inside of the, the ship. Um, yeah, and I just like interesting places and, and just working within them and being inside that space. So what do you do then to prepare for a painting? Do you, do you go and just sit in the setting and just soak absolutely, it up? Absolutely, absolutely. I go there with a lot of sketchbooks and I sit and I draw and I look. And the more and the longer that you spend in one place, the more you notice, the more you see. And then from that, I get um, the idea of how I'm going to represent that. So with HMS Daedalus, because it was so long and flat, I knew it was going to be a very long painting. Yeah. Um, and my work from uh, HMS Victory turned into a larger painting installation because that was part of my master's degree. And um, you try different things, don't you? You have the opportunity to do things that you wouldn't ordinarily do on, the, on a course. And obviously yeah. you mentioned your master's. I know this is a change of career for you. So what kind of made you change to art then? Well, I did art with my first um, degree, which was a B.Ed., which incidentally I did in Hampshire. So I <laughs> came to Winchester from Wales a long time ago and did a four-year B.Ed. at what was King Alfred's College in, in Winchester. Mm -hmm. And then I taught for a long time. And then as my children got older and my husband was away from home a lot more, I went back to college and I did a part-time um, fine, fine art M.A. and um, finished that about three years ago uh, whilst I was already living in Hampshire. I had to drive <laughs> backwards and forwards to complete wow. it. Um, and since then I've had a very interesting time. Yeah, yeah. so do you have a favourite piece of yours then? <sighs> oh, I, I, certain <laughs> things become favourites just because of when you did them and they become significant. So there's a significant piece uh, that was selected for the Sunday Times watercolour competition the first time I entered that, so that's really a favourite and I, I won't sell that now. There's a large drawing of the side of HMS Victory that I keep because although it was for sale at one point, it then got selected as, as a finalist piece in the drawing competition and it becomes quite special to you then. Yeah. Um, so there are just little significant pieces like that that, uh, that mark your journey through your artistic progress, I suppose. And obviously this installation is at the Guildhall Cafe, but where else can we see your work in Hampshire? Well, in Hampshire later on in the year, I'll be taking part in Hampshire Open Studios. I, this will be my third year taking part. Uh, it's very important to me that I do that because it's uh, been a great support during the time that I've been uh, practicing as an artist. Um, also, I've just finished a fantastic commission with uh, Hampshire Cultural Trust and Jane Austen's House Museum, where I had the opportunity to work at the coldest part of the year uh, in January and February and um, uh, respond to the house in its setting. and. Eight other uh, artists across Hampshire had that opportunity to respond to uh, either the, the historic collections or special places. And then that work is intended for some merchandising purposes. So hopefully okay. later in the year, I don't know what it will be, <laughs> but some of my, my images will appear on something. That's great. And obviously Hampshire has been an inspiration, but what about the forces then? You said your husband's in the forces. Is that a source of inspiration for you? Only in as much as the, uh, the historical aspects, mm -hmm. you know, I do like the, the historical uh, part. Great. So just remind viewers then, if they want to see your installation, where can they see it? When is it Well, the, um, the installation continues in the Guildhall Cafe until the 2nd of June. Following on for that on the 4th of June, Aspects, uh, which is a charity in... Um, based in Gunwolf Keys, which supports new and emerging artists, not necessarily young ones, because I'm a <laughs> bit older. Um, they are running a new series of workshops where people can um, go ahead and, and try some different art activities. I'll be running one on painting, 
Okay. Uh, later in the year, there'll be one on drawing and also one using a photography process. Um, so if you're interested in any of that sort of thing, mine will be generally about painting, colour theory, and um, that will be on the 4th of uh, June. Great. Sunday. <laughs> yeah. Well, hopefully people come along. And it was great to chat to you, Kim. Thank you for coming in, but we are out of time. There Thank you. Are. Thank you. Mm -hmm.